It's a question for, it's a question for me. Yeah. Yes, please. Th- th- thank you. Uh, tackling the growing scourge of knife crime in our city is something I care deeply about. Knife crime ruins lives and devastates communities, and it's a situation that's all the more depressing because of the way it impacts young Londoners. I've put tackling knife crime at the heart of my police and crime plan. We've also published a new knife crime strategy for London. The police are working hard to bear down on the violence, and the Met is doing a good job of targeting those breaking the law, ensuring justice is done, helping to keep deadly weapons off our streets, and supporting victims. But if we're going to solve this problem for good, I think we all recognise that we must also focus on education and prevention. That's why an important part of our strategy is the new London Needs You Alive campaign. This campaign is sending a positive message to London's young people as well as their parents. It's raising awareness about the dangers and consequences of knife crime. And it's providing advice to Londoners who have concerns about friends or family members getting sucked into a life of knife crime. The film we released to coincide with the launch of the campaign has been viewed almost 300,000 times on our own social media channels and it's been shared by celebrities, politicians, the Met, as well as ordinary Londoners. We estimate that the total reach of the campaign is now over 20 million people, and I'm grateful to the Met and others for their support in spreading the message. We know that working with young people and schools will be critical to our success in tackling knife crime in the long term. There are now 310 nominated Safe for Schools officers working with schools right across London, with the aim that every school will have a nominated officer. I've committed to providing knife wands to every school that wants one. We're rolling out a knife crime prevention toolkit that will be shared with all schools in 2018. And I'm also providing seed funding for local anti-knife crime initiatives. I'm passionate about making sure that every young person in London, no matter who they are or where they live, can grow up in safety with the opportunities to reach their potential. And I know that the Met are fully on board. Thank you very much. Um, as, as you know, I've got a strong interest in this issue. Um, and in terms of the reach of your campaign, I, I met a group of young people at uh, the Winch Youth Centre in Camden, uh, took the opportunity to ask them if they'd seen it. About half of them had. And I think that's, that's not bad, given it launched long, not long ago. And I'll keep um, hoping they'll keep pushing it out to, to more and more people so that the awareness grows even further. Um, previously, other young uh, young people campaigners uh, have been concerned that there have not been enough positive messages aimed at young people. Uh, and I think this, this campaign really is positive. It's about the value, the contribution of young Londoners to our city. It's about increasing their confidence, not their fear. Um, it doesn't show pictures of violence. It doesn't show uh, big, terrifying knives. And I think that is a really, really good thing. Uh, can I ask the Commissioner what, what she thinks of the campaign? Yeah, we fully support it. Been involved in, um, obviously, the uh, commissioning in a sense but certainly the um, uh, in, uh, sort of development of the strategy we've been very heavily involved in the development of the strategy uh, and um, in relation to this specific campaign um, we are very supportive of it and one of the things that it does do is um, not to involve police people very much and that uh, for many young people is obviously um, helpful because we all know that you know a kind of 56-year-old white middle-aged middle-class lady talking to them in this instance, talking to a, 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 somebody very different and of a very different age about the um, awfulness of knives may have absolutely no impact whatsoever. Thank you very much. Um, I'd also like to, to join uh, my colleague, uh, Assemblyman Breshalomi, um, I'm calling on the Mayor to commission a better evidence base for MET communications in terms of the amount of times I see them uh, in local teams, also borough press officers uh, releasing images that then appear in the local papers um, of knives that are being picked up during Operation Scepter. I do, I do worry that this is counterproductive uh, to your campaign. I think the risk of that has to be taken very, very seriously. I certainly never see images of, of knives like that except when they have been released by the Met, and I think that is definitely uh, an issue. Um, so if you could consider the, the request that was made earlier, that would be good. Um, I want to move on to schools, though. Um, I, I have to say I was, I was pretty uh, horrified to see an image that was put out by the police in Hackney, of one of their police officers in a school, um, showing a very graphic photograph of weapons to children in what seemed to be a primary school. I've got picture of the tweet here. I don't want to make the problem worse by showing pictures of knives, but you can see here there's an officer in a school with a PowerPoint slide that has 
really horrible looking knives and the children are very very young and I think this doesn't seem appropriate I think for very young children in particular getting the tone and the content of messages right is really really important so I want to ask Commissioner have you got any guidance for Met officers that go into schools especially when working with young children about the content that they show to them I don't know if there's anything specific about do show knives or don't show knives. I'd be slightly surprised by that. But yes, they are giving guidance about what is likely to be effective and what is not effective. And the College of Policing have done quite a lot of work on this in terms of um, different age groups, different types of people, and what, what, what sorts of things work in, time, in prevention terms. Uh, and that guidance is available to them. And presumably this kind of image would not be suitable. I mean, it is. I think if it was, this was a film, it would be... 12A at the very, very least. It's, it's quite um, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not sure you're right. No, I'm not sure you're right, not least because, um, uh, you know, some people would have said, some people probably still say, uh, you know, police officers shouldn't be talking to young people about issues such as knife crime and they certainly shouldn't be going into primary schools. Uh, and they certainly shouldn't be talking to eight-year-olds eight year or nine-year-olds. But I see a lot of the risks are absolutely now apparent for and with and to eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds and that's why we and third sector groups are doing that. Of course it's important that we do it well, of course it's important that we do stuff which is going to prevent not make it worse. I get that entirely um, but I'm not going to say that's wrong to do that. Okay, I've written to the Deputy Mayor about this as well because it was genuinely shocking to me to see that um, and I hope she will have a look and get, and get back to me too. Um, I also want to ask about the, the wider issue, the prevention, um, early intervention, things you've both talked about um, today. Um, in my response to the Mayor's Police and Crime Plan, um, I mentioned that serious youth violence should be treated more like a public health issue. And I know that campaigners, youth workers, medical professionals, they all have this view that youth violence should be treated more like a public health problem. This is going to be debated in Parliament as well soon. So I wanted to ask, are both the Met and MOPAC engaged in these discussions um, about public health and, and knife crime? Um, yes, I think we are. I mean, the um, public health approach uh, is, um, you know, well evidenced in um, Scotland, for example, very different communities, very different dynamics, very different issues around uh, violence and indeed youth violence. But nevertheless, um, you know, massive reductions in violent crime through a primarily health lens. We are fully aware that, for example, the, the majority of young people who get involved themselves in very serious violence or, and or find themselves locked up for very, very serious violence are people who have suffered some kind of adverse experience <laughs> of a significant sort when they are young and or have um, limited uh, or problematic um, family lives, parenting, all things which can lead to um, other negative outcomes, not just being subject to or causing serious violence to somebody. And we're all committed uh, to the notion that prevention is better than enforcement, which is, after all, the public health approach. Um, I've previously suggested also that um, communities who've, who've suffered a crime need more support in the aftermath. Is that something you're looking at, Mr Mayor? So we've invested more in victim support. It's really important. Uh, when there's an individual victim of crime, the trauma's felt by the entire community. You've met bereaved families and communities who are affected uh, by this. And we do lots of work on this. The, the, the Met have now asked Neville Lawrence to chair committee looking in some of the work helping victims and working with young people and we're doing a lot more of that we're investing it is an investment seven million pounds in relation to the, the zero of knife crime targeting prevention and education for the reasons you know you've been very articulate in arguing the consequences of youth uh, services being closed down youth workers losing their jobs i'm afraid what i can't do is fill that hole I can't fund, I'm afraid, with the monies I've got, youth services and youth workers, as much as we'd like to do the so. The whole grows every year as well. Well, what, exactly. What we can do is have, provide sequel money where we are, provide diversion money, uh, provide youth workers in, uh, in, in A&Es where there's that teachable moment where you can turn somebody around, uh, provide positive role models, uh, and we're doing that piece of work. And a lot of it comes from the discussions we've had uh, and we have with the Met as well. And, and what's great about the work the Met is doing is not being obsessed by arrest rates, uh, uh, they are arresting people carrying knives where they're carrying knives. They are stopping and searching using intelligence. 
they are doing those things, but also they're, they're helping us with the education and prevention side, which is so important. Well, I hope, thank, you, thank, you very, thank you very much.